Hi guys, today we will discuss about the topic Coolant Foods. Myself Kamal Khan Sharma, working as Assistant Professor in the Department of Information Technology, KIT Group of Institution, Gaspar. So before uh, starting the topic, we just look up the contents uh, that being are used in this video. So the contents are what is Gulam code, what is unary code, then what is different code. Basically, we have to uh, find out the unary code and different code also to uh, find out the Gulam codes for a particular question. After that, we will discuss the construction of code. In this section, we will take an example in which how to uh, find out the different codes. And the last uh, part is references part. So before starting the Google code, we just uh, look up some uh, points about these codes. As we know that the Google codes are comes under the lossless data compression method. And these codes uh, or this method was invented by the Solomon W. Gulam in 1960s. And the alphabets uh, following a geometrical distribution where uh, will have a Gulam code as an optimal prefix code. And uh, these codes are used to encode the integers also. And it means the uh, it is highly uh, suitable for the situation in which the occurrence of small values in the input string is significantly more likely than the large value. So, Gulam codes basically uh, this scheme is divided into two parts. The first part is unary code, and the second part is different code. So, basically, to find out the Gulam codes, we have to uh, uh, find the unary code as well as we have to find the different code. So. The unique codes and different code we will uh, discuss in next slide. After that, uh, uh, the code is parameterized by two values n and m. Here, there, uh, here we have two integer value n and m, uh, where the value of n should be greater than zero as well as the value of m always be uh, greater than the zero. And here we have to calculate the quotient and remainder also. The value of quotient should be uh, n by m in Floor function. Okay, so the value of a quotient will be the floor function of n by m, and similarly the remainder should be uh, n minus q m. So the value of remainder can be calculated by n minus q m. So the next uh, uh, topic is unary code. So basically, the unary code can be represented in a two method. The first method is n of once followed by zero, and the second uh, uh, way or second option is n of zeros followed by one. Uh, you may choose any one of the representation ones followed by zero or zeros followed by the one. Just take an example five. If I have a value uh, integer five and I have to uh, find out the unary code of this five. So we can represent it as a five times zero followed by zero, uh, five times one followed by zero and five times zero followed by one. Take an, uh, another example seven. So the seven uh, for the value seven, the unary code will be seven times one followed by zero or seven times zero followed by one. If I'm taking another uh, integer value like four, the four can be represented in a unary code as a four times one followed by zero or four times zero followed by one. If I'm taking another integer value like six, six can be represented as a six times one followed by zero or six times zero followed by one. So you may take any uh, way to represent in a unary code number of ones followed by zero or number of zeros followed by one. In this video, I am taking number of ones followed by zero. Okay. So now come to the uh, different code part. So in different code, there is a two step. So the first step is floor function of log base to n bit. Floor function of log base to n bit representation of R. For first 2 raised to the power ceiling function of log base to n minus m bit and the second step is uh, ceiling function of log base to m bit representation of r plus 2 raised to the power ceiling function of log base to m minus m for rest values of r. So basically there are two steps to find the different codes and these steps will be used to uh, uh, generate the Gulam codes also. So now take an example. So suppose we have a uh, value so we have a uh, m equals to 5 suppose we have a design to suppose that we have a question uh, like a design a Gulam code for m equal to 5 where n equals to 0 1 2 3 4 up to 15 so i have already mentioned that the value of m and n should be greater than 0 but in this case the value of n starting from 0 1 2 3 4 up to 15 
so first of all we have to find out the log base to n in both the functions in ceiling function as well as in flooring function also so first we have to calculate the ceiling function of log base to n and the value of m here is 5 so ceiling function of log base to 5 is 3 okay and as well as the floor function of log base to m that is uh, log base to 5 the value is 2 okay so the ceiling function of log base to 5 is 3 and the floor function of log base to 5 is 2 so these values will be help to find out the uh, Guller codes okay so now for for the different codes of r we have to calculate the 2 raised to the power uh, ceiling function of log base to 5 minus n so here by putting the ceiling function of log base to 5 value that is 3 we calculate the different code of r that is 3 so here we have the value 3 and this 3 will be used to find out the different code of r so they, this 3 means if we have a value n equals to 0 1 2 3 4 5 up to 50 this 3 means the first 3 values of n okay this 3 means the first 3 values of n will be represented in 2 bits okay if suppose we have a uh, value 4 4 means the first 4 values of n that is 0 1 2 or 3 okay these first 4 values will be represented in 2 bits but in this case as per our example here the value comes is 3 so for the first value uh, the first 3 values of n will be 0 1 2 3 and these 0 1 2 3 will be represented in 2 bits okay now coming to the next slide uh, what about the other values of n the rest values of, will be uh, represented in th this fashion r plus 3 so r plus 3 represent in 3 bits okay suppose we have a value 3 so we will uh, 3 plus 3 equals to 7 sorry 6 and similarly for the value of 4 we have 4 plus 3 equals to 7 so this 6 and 7 will be represented in 3 bit representation okay so whatever the values rest of the values we will just uh, add the value 3 and what uh, we have the value this uh, value will be represented in 3 bits now take uh, uh, this table so in this table we have uh, 4 columns first column is for n the second column is for q q means quotient then the third part is remainder and the fourth part is for bull code okay uh, bull codes so basically code words uh, uh, shows about the bull codes and uh, make sure this bull codes uh, code words is the combination of a unary code plus different codes so first we have to calculate the unary code and the second we have to calculate the different codes so the unary codes basically these unary codes these unary codes are depend on the quotient part and these different codes these different codes will depend on the remainder part okay so in this question we have the values and uh, we have the values n from 0 1 2 3 up to 15 so in the first column n part we just put the, all the values of 0 1 2 3 4 up to 15 the second part is quotient in the quotient part we have to calculate the floor function of n by m so after calculating the uh, all the values of quotient we have the value 0 0 0 1 up to so on up to the value 15 for n then the third part is remainder part uh, the remainder part will be calculated as I have already uh, mentioned you. The fourth part is code word. So this part is uh, most important. These are the Gulam's code and the code words are dependent on the quotient part as well as the remainder part. So uh, first we have to discuss about the unit code. So the unit code as I have already mentioned this unit code is depend on the quotient part. So here the quotient is zero. Okay. So what will the unit code for zero? The unit code for the zero is zero okay and uh, second thing we have to find the different part sorry different code and the different code is depend on the remainder okay so the value of uh, uh, remainder is uh, zero so the uh, different code for remainder r equal to zero will be zero okay and uh, make sure the value of zero one two will be represented in two bits so zero can be represented in two bits 
binary representation means 0 0 so the final code of uh, final volume code for the value add will be triple zero so this is our triple zero okay now come to the uh, next part when n equal to 1 when n equal to 1 the quotient value is 0 and the remainder part is 1 okay so what will be our code word as we know that the code word is the combination of unary code and different code okay different code now come to the quotient part what will be the unary code for value 0 the unary code of value 0 will be 0 okay and what will be the different code for 1 as we know that when the value of n equals to 0 1 2 we will represent it in 2 bits okay so the binary representation of 1 in 2 bits will be 0 1 so the final code word is 0 0 1 now come to the next n equal to 2 okay when n equal to 2 the quotient is 0 and the remainder part is 2 now we know that the uh, unary code for uh, 0 will be 0 and the 2 will be represented as 1 0 so the final question uh, final code word will be 0 1 0 okay now come to the this section uh, this part when n equal to 5 now when n equal to 5 the quotient value is 1 and the remainder part is 0 now the unary code for n will be we know that the unary code can be represented in two ways number of ones followed by zero or number one uh, zeros followed by one so i am taking number of ones followed by zero so the one can be represented in unary code as number of ones followed by zero as one and zero okay now come to the remainder part this remainder part is zero and we know that the when n equal to 0 1 2 will be represented in two bits by the okay so zero will be represented in zero zero okay so the final code will be one zero 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 so this is one zero 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 now come to this part when n equal to eight when n equal to eight the question part is one and the remainder part is three okay so one can be represented in unary code as one zero okay number of ones uh, followed by zero so one zero and the remainder part is zero when the uh, remainder part is zero and we know that the when n equal to 0 1 2 okay when n equal to 0 1 2 we will represent in 2 bits or otherwise we will represent in 3 bits okay so this is unary part 1 0 and uh, this is 3 so we will discuss uh, in next slide uh, next slide similarly n equal to 9 here okay uh, in last uh, in last slide we have n equal to 8 also okay when n equal to 8 we have uh, some value of a quotient and similarly some value of remainder same method will be used in this ppt also now i'm taking the value uh, n equal to 9 and quotient value 1 and remainder value 4 so the quotient part as uh, quotient part is here uh, the value of quotient is 1 so the unary part is 1 0 and the remainder is 4 so 4 plus 3 equals to 7 so 7 will be represented in 3 bit binary representation okay so 7 will be triple 1 so this will be uh, represented as triple 1 so the final code word is 1 0 triple 1 okay now take another value of n here n equal to 1 sorry 11 quotient value is 2 and remainder is 1 so the 2 part will be represented in uh, unary code as uh, 2 times 1 followed by 0 and this is 1 so this will be uh, represented in uh, 2 bits 0 1 so the final answer is 1 1 0 and 0 1. okay now uh, take this uh, value n equal to 14 okay n equal to 14 quotient is 2 remainder is 4 so 2 can be represented as 1 1 0 now this part is 4 now the 4 I am already uh, mentioned that the when the uh, value of n equals to 0, 1, 2, we can directly represent it as in uh, 2 bits by representation. And when the value of uh, uh, comes uh, from 3, 4 up to 15, we just uh, add the value 3. Okay. Here the value is 4. Then we will add 4 plus 3 equal to 7. And this 7 will be represented in 3 bit binary representation. Okay. 3 bit binary representation. So 7 can be represented as triple 1. So the final code will be 110 triple 1. So this is 110 triple 1. 
now the last value of n is 15 so when the val uh, value of n is 15 the quotient part is 3 and the remainder value is 0 again triple 1 0 will be the unit code and 0 can be represented as double 0 so the final code will be triple 1 0 double 0 this will be the code word okay i hope uh, uh, all of you uh, easily understand what uh, all of you easily understand about the Coulomb codes, and these are the references which I have taken in my video. Let's see. Thank you.